Uh, today I'm gonna show you another story of uh, a fake uh, 20 ounce uh, uh, JNM bar. So it's 20 ounce, as you can see. Um, that's what it says here, right? I'm showing it right way. No, wrong way. Okay, this way. Okay, so this way, um, it gives, it shows it's JNM. It shows it 20 ounce. It's weighted 20 ounce and uh, as well so it's happening it uh, says 9999 uh, for whatever reason so it doesn't say that it is actually gold um, can, can, that's can, however it's consistent with uh, GNM uh, all the bars which wouldn't say the silver or gold they would just say 999 GNM Canada LTD etc right and as well, according to Gen M, uh, or according to like any Google source, put it that way, there was never any 20 ounce bar casted or poured by Gen M. Uh, in any case, so we're like basically, who knows, right? So let's, uh, and we did two tests. One of them was uh, Archimedes uh, uh, liquid test, right? So that's, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this bar into the water and according to 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 the bar dimensions it's uh, and a weight, it's uh, and a gold uh, uh, mass, molecular mass, so it actually have to displace maximum of 32 Milli, uh, milliliters of water so we are at 175 right now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, put the bar inside the jar inside the beaker so which is at 175 as you can see right so basically uh, we have to get uh, well it's a little bit I think more oops well, let me just take out a little bit out of here okay so now it's at 175 so it's 175 and uh, we're supposed to get uh, uh, 207 at max we cannot get more than that right if it would be real gold now I'm gonna place that inside carefully I'll kill the beaker yeah, one drop water doesn't make any difference. Okay, well, we above 200, but how much above 200? Uh, well, let's find out. So here it is. I'm gonna take water out of there and I'm gonna put it down here. As you see, we actually exactly 10 milliliters over 200 marks. So that gives us 210 milliliters, which is which means that the bar actually displays 35. Uh, well, we did a little bit more precise that so it actually displays 36 milliliters of water. Uh, so which with the Molecular mass means it's somewhere around 17 and oops Sorry and something so it's, it's actually hard to take it out of there. So we don't want to break the bigger Okay uh, Next thing I'm gonna do and sorry I'm doing this this so you can actually actually see it I'm gonna put the measurements on
Okay, so I'm gonna. I mean, the bar is not even, right? Like this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to measure it in the middle. Everywhere. Okay. So it's. 30 so if you probably can see it's 35 on this side oops I don't think that's gonna work So that I mean, okay, that it's not gonna work. But you can see actually, it's gonna work like this. It's sixteen and a half on this middle, and on this side. I'll do like this, yeah. It is sixty. Four. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it was sixty two before. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's actually sixty four millimeters. Uh, so with this measurements, it actually gives us the volume of about 35, 36 milliliter, which is consistent with the Archimedes test. Now, what I'm show, I'm gonna show you um, else, uh, I guess the drilling test, uh, which is, um, unless you're very suspicious of the bar being fake, so you don't wanna do this to destroy the bar, I mean, but it's not really destroying, so it's, uh, you can kind of put it back, uh, and uh, and they're like only um, really milligrams of uh, gold will be pull, uh, you'll pull out. But at the end of the day, so you can put them back and uh, just use a, a small jewelry hammer to uh, to kind of close the hole. So uh, the weight not gonna be in case you're wrong, right? So okay, so let's perform the drill test now. Well, as a matter of fact, I already kind of pre-drilled the hole. What I want to show you that, and yeah, wear safety glasses just in case. And those drill bits were very thin, so it's, you don't want to... I mean, they can break easily. So basically, you just... You see the... hear the noise? It doesn't drill anymore. It's stuck. And actually, on the first drilling, I broke my uh, uh, drill bit, so it actually broke off, right? I was like, what the hell? Maybe I bent a little bit, so I tried another one. It doesn't drill anymore. So, uh, the match it goes here inside is about uh, three to four millimeters. That's it. That's a soft metal. Behind that, there is a, some kind of very strong plate. Um, we, we suspect uh, it's, not, but, uh, it's probably not wall, uh, wall frame or tungsten. Uh, it's probably, uh, I think it's uh, tantalum. Um, but whatever it is, it's there. So the drill, I mean, the drill bit doesn't drill anymore. Uh, the displacement of water shows that, uh, and it's may, mainly why it's, we say it's tantalum because the water actually displaces about 36 milliliters and that makes uh, the molecular weight of uh, this compound around 17 and that's in line with the tantalum molecular weight. So, well, thank you for watching.